detective, we're getting too much press coverage for the incident on the intersection of Thor and the Third Ninth. They're already calling it the Blue Daisy. We might have a lead, but you've got to come to the office right now. Let us introduce you to Urban Shadows, a mixed reality experience inspired by the true crime cases around the world. Cold cases similar to Black Dahlia can be found in every major metropolitan city. From Jack the Ripper in London to Jimmy Hoffa in Detroit, true crime cases from decades ago still capture the audiences in every part of the world. Tiffany will explain that next. There's a huge audience with this cold case true crime genre. We're seeing crossovers with creators from all types, from podcasts, makeup artists, even the mukbangers. They're all coming together to insert this genre into their own art. The sheer amount of franchise on Jeffrey Dahmer alone this year on Netflix, to put it in stats, 56 million households consumed the entire season, which consists of 10 episodes within the first two weeks. Let me explain our core gameplay loop now. Cases for our experience will have two components, non-location specific VR parts and location specific MR parts. Let's start with VR. As a detective in a major crimes unit, the player will receive an interactive briefing inside their office. There, the players can go over their clues and even plan to conduct possible interviews with possible suspects. Then, the game plot will continue with mixed reality where players can interact with the real world and augmented case clues. This brings players to really interact and experience their roles as an investigator in real time. Mixing digital technology expands the settings the game could work in. For example, this shows a medieval time frame where the player might be trying to figure out what's going on in the village and follow suggested roadmaps through a visualization of what the actual location used to look like. Urban Shadows successfully integrates traditional dark tourism with VR and MR experiences, providing immersive narratives to audiences. With Urban Shadows, you can come, come to the shadow shadows and expose the truth. truth. Thank you so Thanks much for listening. listening. Uh, this is a good one. This is something that uh, I think has a lot of promise. I think it's an un, untapped market with a huge upside potential. Um, so I think you're on to something. Uh, I don't really have any questions other than I think it's a good idea. I want to see how you explore it. Maybe the only question would be, how, what would you be your first steps to executing on something like this? Uh, I think... Uh... Finding a potential partners in terms of markets would be the first step. Like uh, we can talk with uh, many cities and counties for uh, tourism departments to execute the plan. And yeah, uh, do you have any? And of course, I think engineering is a really big part of it, making sure that um, the MR, the mixed reality portion, um, would be like true and fair to the location of the state because we don't want to compromise the location they're at. But also, we want to make sure that you know you, the players are getting the experience that they would want in the game. And have you thought about partnering with the primetime TV shows that are crime oriented on CBS and NBC and other places that have a propensity to fill up their primetime schedule with procedural crime shows? Is that a uh, sure. in your brain? The entertainment business, I think, just really gobbles the crime up, and you see so many like entertainment avenues where it's, you know, cable TV, streaming services, um, even on YouTube, I think content creators um, really just act like they just commercialize and are able to have, like, see a lot of success in those areas. Good, thank you. Have you thought about the application of leveraging this mm -hmm. in terms of like, um, uh, an opportunity for multiple law enforcement agencies to share crime scene evidence uh, to help troubleshoot crimes. I am fascinated by crime. Uh, I love crime shows. And I also love when one group shows a, a whole collection of evidence to a brand new team and they see things that, you know, the investigators have been looking at this material for months and months and months and missed it. Mm -hmm. When somebody walks right up to see evidence and it just gleans right out. Have you thought about practical application of something like this in real Crime world, sourcing. like law enforcement? Yeah. Yeah, I think actually with the mixed reality portion, um, 
there can there can be like cold cases that also come up in those areas where the evidence are you know shared with the public like the public evidence is still there but with the wide um if a lot of users use it and a lot of players are able to maybe like there is an idea out there that somebody wasn't able to connect that could actually potentially solve a cold case and i think from that that can really be implemented to possibly just also like training and then um that could also be implemented in a practical area uh, but also in terms of um, really finding and being getting multiple perspectives is um, very important in crime because what anyone brings to the table is really I think can be useful with like really being interactive with the crime board and then putting like the red strings uh, which is you know symbolic to um, connections that you can make in different parts of the crime. Mm, it's sort of fascinating and horrific at the same time which is why it's so attractive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how would you um, go about making this social, a social experience? Mm. I think mixed reality personally is a big part of it um, and making can jump on the VR part. Uh, but for the MR part, I think really being in the actual place and experiencing it, for, like as we've seen with um, Pokemon Go, it's a little bit of kind of the, oh, like, I'm playing this too. Like, and I feel like for sure if somebody's walking around with a set, uh, you're able to kind of see them. Um, and if people are um, on the same cases, then maybe they can also share data um, and kind of work through the process together, uh, which I think can also build up with the community um, as well. VR. VR parts can also be integrated, like such as we can chat around that in VR environment and try to, during the process of trying to find the evidences and a real uh, uh, suspects, we can probably yeah, uh, chat with other players too. That can be also social aspects of it. Years Thank ago, you so I participated much. in an experience where um, you walked around a cemetery and as you approached each, uh, stood next to each grave, um, you would hear the story of the person you were looking at. It was quite interesting, actually. It was small proof of concept, but it was uh, kind of, again, strangely compelling. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sorry. <laughs> That's okay, I'm just thinking the dead don't talk. <laughs> right, actually they do, potentially. Yeah, that's, uh, that's up for debate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we okay. have the technology to make that happen now. <laughs> yeah.